Mr. Secretary General, Mr. High Representative of the United Nations for the Alliance of Civilizations, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Since its creation, the Alliance has not ceased to demonstrate its significance. Building upon his predecessor's work, the High Representative, Mr. Miguel Angel Moratinos, has brought a new impetus to the Alliance, and I commend him for that. Our Alliance is all the more relevant as it is not defined in opposition to a common enemy, but in favor of a shared ideal. It doesn't oppose us to each other, it brings us together. And this is precisely what we need in the current context. The pandemic has brutally reminded us of our common destiny. It is this reminder, common destiny, that the Alliance has always carried by constantly recalling that our fates are interwined. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the Kingdom of Morocco is a founding member of the Alliance of Civilizations. The Kingdom has always subscribed to its values and principles. The Kingdom has always shared the ideas it promotes. And there is a reason for that. Here in Morocco, diversity is an identity for, for the nation. Coexistence is a way of life. Values of openness, moderation, tolerance, and mutual understanding between all cultures and civilizations are not a mere slogan. It is principle enshrined in the Constitution. As you know, Morocco had gladly decided to host the work of the ninth edition of the Global Forum of the Alliance in 2020. We had announced this at the same meeting last year. The pandemic has delayed our forum, but it has certainly not jeopardized the project nor undermined our commitment. It will be an unprecedented event. For the first time in the history of the organization, the Global Forum will be held on an African continent, on a Moroccan soil. Ladies and gentlemen, as His Majesty King Mohammed VI said on the occasion of the visit of His Holiness Pope Francis to Morocco, and I quote, radicalism, whether it is motivated by religion or not, is due to failure to know one another, to ignorance of the other, and to ignorance pure and simple. Knowing one another eliminates radicalism all types of radicalism. Knowing one another is precisely what is going to help us raise to the challenges of our tormented times, end of quote. This royal call resonates even more in the wake of this global health crisis unlike any. Eventually, we will overcome the pandemic, but the challenge will remain, a challenge of building inclusive, and cohesive societies, where mutual knowledge is not only structuring between societies, but also within them. A challenge of building inclusive and cohesive societies by choosing solidarity, tolerance, peace, and dialogue. Only then we will be able to transform multilateralism from realm of discourse to that of a human-centered and result-oriented action. And this is precisely what our alliance is about. Ladies and gentlemen, it is in moments of uncertainty that we must think higher and act nobler. It is in these moments that we need the alliance, and it is in those moments that Morocco responds and will respond present. My belief is that difficulty should not be an obstacle. It must be a challenge which invites us to think, work, and act together. I thank you.